Each year, the American government invests over $3 billion into small businesses to stimulate technological innovation in the U.S. This is called America's Seed Fund, or the Small Business Innovation Research Program, SBIR for short, and may be the best kept secret in entrepreneurship. Over 5,000 awards are given every year, and if you have a promising idea, there are ways to get some of this funding. In this video, we'll cover steps on how to get grant funding for your idea, tips to increase your odds of success, and tools and resources to help you secure that grant. Before even thinking about grants funding, you need a good idea that addresses a problem that affects a large number of people. You have to get creative here. Do some research. Use your background knowledge and life experience to think about what the biggest unsolved issues are in our society. This can be a problem that has impacted you directly or one that you see a lot of other people struggle with. So after you have selected an idea, or if you already have a good idea, here are some steps to take to secure that grant. First, you have to identify a specific SBIR grant to apply for. This can be done in several ways. I always recommend starting with a good old Google search and type in some keywords related to your idea, along with the term SBIR grants. The second strategy to identify specific grants to apply for is by browsing through the open solicitations by the grants and agencies. These agencies include the National Science Foundation, or the NSF, the National Institutes of Health, the NIH, the Department of Defense, DOD, Department of Energy, DOE, and a few others. A complete list can be found in the description. After you have identified a specific grant solicitation to apply for, it is critical to identify if you're eligible to apply. These solicitations are written by the government, so they can be very long and dense. In fact, I don't suggest reading it like you would a typical web page or article. Instead, just control or command F if you're on a Mac and type in the word eligibility. After all, there's no point wasting your time reading a confusing 15 page long solicitation if you're not eligible to apply. The eligibility criteria vary for each solicitation, but here are some very common requirements you will typically see. Applicants must be part of a for-profit company, such as an LLC or corporation. This is a big deal, because it means that if you do not have a company, it is time to create one. I suggest using Stripe Atlas to get this done. For $500, they can do everything. Link in the description. Requirement number two is that your company must be US owned and operated. Another requirement is that your company must be a small business with less than 500 people employed. And the focus should be on performing R&D or research and design, not on building something that has already been developed or one that is very low risk and only needs capital. Okay, so we found the grant solicitation and we've confirmed our eligibility. So now it will be wise to email the appropriate SBIR program officer to determine if our idea is a good fit. Now this may seem pedantic, but the last thing we want to do is to pour 100 hours into this process, only to have the application thrown away before being even reviewed because it didn't fit the aim of the grants and agency. Speaking from painful experience here, if you would like a template letter to model your email to the program officer after, please drop a comment below. There's just so much to cover and I don't want to make this video an hour long. Okay, this is where the majority of the heavy lifting lies preparing your application materials. These applications tend to be long and difficult to get through, but stay strong, it can be well worth your effort. I mean, you can win up to $2 million in a single award, speaking from experience here. Again, every solicitation asks for something different, so you have to identify the specific documents you need to prepare for your specific application. But here are some examples of common required documents. A research plan, letters of support, bio sketches, a detailed budget and a budget justification, commercialization plan. If you like templates for any of the documents that I just mentioned, feel free to drop a comment below. The research plan is usually the hardest part. The government doesn't simply give you money. Rather, they provide funding for research activities that contribute to the development of a novel technology that has the potential to have a positive impact on society. In other words, you have to frame the entrepreneurial activities for your idea as research activities. Here are some tips to increase your odds of winning an SVIR grant. Tip number one, apply for more than one grant opportunity. These grants are incredibly competitive, 
so I recommend applying to multiple opportunities and hope you land one. I believe the success rate for SBIR awards nationwide is close to 22%. That's one in five, so yeah. Another benefit of applying to multiple opportunities is that even if you don't receive the award, you may get feedback that will increase your odds of landing your next opportunity. Second, try to have a strong team with relevant backgrounds. The reviewers can be harsh and picky, so they will look closely at this. But building a quality team is such a challenge, especially if you're just starting off with no resources or traction. Here are my practical recommendations for finding teammates and co-founders. Try Y Combinator co-founder match. This is a platform by the renowned Y Combinator technology accelerator. It's free to use. And what it does is it matches you with other aspiring entrepreneurs who fit the profile you're looking for or who have similar backgrounds to yourself. I have personally found multiple teammates using this platform. Co-founder Lab is another online platform with a similar purpose, but I'm still experimenting with it and I can't promise results just yet. Another strategy to building a team is through universities, hackathons, and entrepreneurship meetups. This is a less straightforward path, but almost every major city has some entrepreneurial ecosystem and events where people can meet each other, and these locations are the usual suspects. The last strategy would be to constantly talk about your idea to people in your circle. You never know who may be interested or who may know who. Building a team in the early stages is honestly one of the hardest parts of entrepreneurship, so I recommend getting started early and being patient through the process. Next, read other successfully awarded proposals, especially especially those related to your topic. This will get you familiar with the structure, style of writing, and overall approach of what a successful proposal should look like. You can draw inspiration from others to create a template for your own proposal. If you'd like to access some proposals from previously awarded grants, including some that I've personally written, feel free to drop a comment below. Next address the review criteria directly. This is essentially the scoring rubric the reviewers will be using. The criteria generally include significance to society, innovation of technology, experience and qualification of investigators, scientific approach, and quality of environment. Tip number five is to ensure your proposal is clear and easy to read. Don't get too fancy in your writing. Use clear titles, subtitles, bullet points, and diagrams to increase the legibility of your proposal. This is why it's important to read other proposals so you can get familiar with the structure and style of effective proposals. Templates for everything I mentioned in this video can be found in the webpage linked in the video description. The page is developed in Notion, which is an all-in-one workspace. If you're not familiar with Notion, check it out. It's a fantastic productivity tool. Also, for more information on the SBIR grants, you can visit www.sbir.gov. So that's the playbook on how you can win some early funding for your idea. I share this story because like so many people, I had dreams of being an entrepreneur, dreams of developing something that can change the world. I'm not gonna lie to you, winning an SBIR grant is definitely not easy, but it's a hundred percent worth it. I mean, this can be life-changing, not only for you, but for those who your product will ultimately serve. So I hope this video helps you on your journey. Thanks for watching.